Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games, and today it is After Dark. I should, yeah, I should really put up the After Dark sign. Oh, oh, no. There we go. It's After Dark. Yes, I just reset the chat. That sucks. Um, somebody in the chat, Old Style Gaming, asked if I'm the Zero Page that made the uh, Super Mario Brothers C64 game. And I am not. Um, but I was. Uh, somebody reached out to me a number of years ago about that. Um, some gaming publication, IGN or some, something like that. Um, and uh, I had to tell them, no, I'm not that. I'm not that zero page. Oh, 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 are you Tanya? No, it's just me and the cats today. Thank you for resubscribing, Ricardo Pim, 38 months. Awesome. Um, yeah, he does a very good impression of Tanya. No, today we're just doing um, After Dark, which is uh, when we play games, and it's impromptu as well, where we play games that we want to get a high score on, try and play to the end, or uh, just play more of the game because we didn't play enough of it and we really liked it. Today, we are going to be playing uh, Competing in the, let me get the exact name here, 2024 Lynx High Score Club Round 1. And they've included the game, uh, homebrew game Growing Ties. Um, so let's see if uh, we can get a decent score in Growing Ties. Plus, we have an unboxing. All the way from Australia. What could it be? We're gonna open it up very soon. Um, but first I want to thank all the subscribers who help support the show, who are gently scrolling over there. Uh, 8-Bit Poet, Al Nefer, Android, Atari, Armscar, Coder, Atari 800, XL, Rules, Atari 874, Atari Age, Beef, Supreme, Beer, Polka, Bruno Stex, Calico, Seldaz, Charles Dunmail, Charles Will, Chitla, Crypto Coffee, Cubanismo, Sierra Reboot, Dianoi, Dale Andrew Darling, Dan VC, Daryl 970, Dave I uh, M A Z D M X 87 Drexel Dr. Moo Cows Emmy Dan Fiero Dog Gamer Composer Gamma Dev Gangsoft Great Defender Ground Trooper Haroldo Ju uh, Timothy uh, Jimothy Sunshire Johnny W C Cabello Ganzo Carl G Caracat Croc 26 Center Lambda Express Lord Crack and Machine Gex Mark Yana Spix Mark Space Ing Mick Muse Mike Soul Mike Tell Mam K Smith Mother Mon Mr. Zarnwood Mr. Vix Nathan Strum Neo Media Nostalgic Pseudographis Coog Render Ghost Repentless Fever Evan Tully Ricardo Pim Rock Caster Smitty B Spice Wars Spinley S. Ramiro Stage One Boss D Train Tiki Dan KTM Vince Token Muncher Track MD uh, Twe uh, Twe Ini That's a new name Twilight Zoner VR Gamer for Life VVG Double Down X can X. And if you would like to support the show, you can hit subscribe. Hey, quiet, quiet down, little cats. You can hit subscribe. Um, if not, you can just follow the show. Or if you're watching on YouTube, you can uh, hit subscribe and uh, follow the show there. It is a beautiful cat. Let's take a look at Sprite, the beautiful cat. Look at this beautiful cat. Look at his beautiful yellow eyes. It's definitely a Halloween cat. You'll have to wait a little bit longer for Halloween. Yes, a little bit longer. Yeah, we're just coming off the tail of the uh, sixth annual Atari Homebrew Awards, which happened last Saturday. And uh, we'll talk a little bit about that later while we're playing the game, trying to get some high scores. Hello to everybody in the chat. Yeah, it's just an impromptu show. Um, JX, oh, uh, let me get the exact name here. Uh, JGKSPSX reached out to me and told me that there's an Atari Lynx High Score Club happening. And would I like to play the game on the show? Um, uh, participate. And he said there's a homebrew game being played, um, which of course is growing ties. And I said, yes, of course, we love playing. Competing in high score challenges. And it gets us to play the games a little bit more. Get more in depth with the game. Um, and usually that really gets you interested in the game uh, a lot more because you get to experience the fullness of the game. Because on a normal show, we play the game for mm, 20 minutes to half an hour. We usually have um, two, at least three games, maybe four games. We do a half hour each, um, but some we don't get to experience like in depth. So this is a good time to 
played the game a little bit more in depth. So it'll be a lot of fun. And um, there's a number of high score clubs on the Atari Age forums and elsewhere. And sometimes they include homebrew games. That's what we're all about. We're about playing new games here. New games for classic consoles. But let's open this up. Let's check out what this is. This is sent all the way from Australia via Prime Express. Only took six, seven days and it arrived today. So I thought, you know what? Let's do an After Dark today. I'm already doing a Lynx day. Well, I was going to do it anyway because this is the last day for the High Score Club. Um, so I really had to play that today. So it was actually more of a good coincidence that this arrived. A Lynx compilation. Actually, I don't know what this is actually. No. Um, a Lynx compilation. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. But let's unbox it. I'm going to take out identifying information because we don't need that. So let's go up to the cat cam and see what's in this. Yeah, are you excited? Oh, oh, things are falling out. Nope, let's put them back in. Where's the cat cam? Where's the cat cam? Where did it go? Oh, there we go. Okay, let's unbox this. Yeah, it's a spring-loaded brown snake. Could be. Oh, God. It's all manner. No, it's a koala. Oh, that's adorable. It's a koala with a butterfly on its nose. Absolutely adorable. Let's put that down there. And we get a K Retro sticker. Very nice. Need a little light up here. It's quite dark. But it's a webcam, so it kind of auto compensates a bit. Okay, let's take a look at this. It is Link Jam 2023 in the box. Yeah, you're excited too. Calm down, kittens. Calm down. It's okay. There we go. There's the back of it. Sometimes I forget to show the sides. There's the side of it. And the compilation is called Same But Different. And we'll, we'll talk a little bit about what that means. Come on, focus. There we go. Um, and it comes with its own little stand. So let's open this up and take a look. at the stand. There we go. Lynx Jam 2023. Same but different. So you get a stand for your cartridge or maybe it's permanently mounted in there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's a tight fit. There we go. You know that's not coming out. There we go, Lynx Jam 2023, and there's nothing on the back. I guess you could put the K Retro sticker there. Looks like it would fit there, actually. Let's put it back in the stand here. Oh, it goes back in much easier. There we go. And we'll be checking that out. Um, actually, let's just... Let's check it out um, right now. So well, let's find out a bit more about this. Actually, I can keep those. Keep all this right here. There we go. Uh, real koalas are super cute until they aren't. Oh boy. I've never... No, I've never seen a koala live. I've seen a kangaroo live. It's this tiny, tiny kangaroo. When uh, I was um, in Sydney, I was at an Airbnb and the host, I can't remember why they had a baby kangaroo, but all of a sudden in the morning, the Airbnb host, who was subletting a room, um, woke up in the morning and out front of the house, they had this baby kangaroo. Um, it was absolutely adorable. And it was like totally dazed and like, what? it was like, what's going on? Um, but uh, yeah, it was super cute. But I've never seen a koala in life, real life. Um, so let's take a look at what this compilation is all about. 
Uh, there we go. So here's the web page, um, and you can order this yourself. Um, Links Jam 2023, same but different. So K Retro put on a Links Jam, and a jam is usually a, a game making either event or competition. Sometimes you can compete. Um, where you're given some restraints, uh, usually with time and a theme. And this one, you were given a set of sprites to work with. Not that sprite. Hi. Hi. But uh, graphical sprites. And uh, there were 12 entries that are on this cartridge. And uh, they're all very, very different. And they said, and, and the, the outline of the contest said, don't use them in the obvious way. So there's a lot of very good creative ways that people are using them. So there's 12 games on this compilation. Yeah, cookies. That's awesome. Uh, 12 mini games on one cart. Get your meme expired retro meme inspired retro gaming fix right here. Play millennial games now. All of the mini games are entries submitted to the links. Jam 2023, same but different game jam. Games included on the cartridge. What are you guys doing? Uh, Bowling Beast, Chasm Warden, Dungeon, Dun, Escape from Dungeon of Deja Vu, Final Melee, Fortress Fighter, Grogger, Hero Dust, Rainbow Running Knight, Silly, Silly Archery, YNXA, Leaf and the Guardians of Time. The boxed version comes in a clear pet box, standard size, as other Atari Lynx game boxes. Has built-in cart stand. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, and a colorful backdrop. The game cartridge is 3D printed in the style of Atari Lynx curved lip cartridges. Plastic used as pet G so it won't melt in transit. Melt in transit? <laughs> Ooh, I guess it gets hot sometimes. Um, so there's uh, screenshots from a bunch uh, or all the games. Um, the title screen and two shots. There we go. There's all the games. We have played these games. Um, we dedicated a whole show to these games, so you can check out that. But we're going to pop this in really quick. And, um, yeah, where are they coming from, the sun? Yeah, they're very hot. I guess, I guess, I guess there's some plastics that melt at, well, yeah, coming from Australia. Clo they're very close to the sun. Um, they get very warm temperatures. So let's um, actually take a look at this as we pop it in. Everything's staticky today. Oh my god. Let's pop it in the links here. Oh, I'm going to have to switch over. And because it comes up right away. Okay. Here we go. Oh, this is going to be tough. You may not see the opening screen. Oh, it's happening. What happened? Oh. There we go. Okay. We have some sound. Is there a... How come I can't see it on my TV? What is... At least you guys can see it. What is happening? Let's restart. Let's replug the output here. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, because it's not plugged in. That helps, doesn't it? Okay. <sighs> so, Bowling Bees, Chasm Warden, Dungeon, Escape from Dungeon of Deja Vu, Final Melee, Fortress Fighter, Grogger, Hero Dust, Rainbow, Running Knight, Silly Archery, and YNXA, Leaf of the Guardians of Time. And it tells you which one you're on. And let's just, uh, let's just pop one in. Oh, not this one, it's sideways. No, it's sideways. Let's pick one that's not sideways. There we go. Uh, done getting. There we go. No audio. Oh, it's frozen. What is happening? 
That's better. I had to reset up everything from the um, Atari Homebrew Awards. So things are a little out of place, but uh, I got them pretty much 99% working. So there you go, 12 games, all really fun. Um, like I said, if you want to check out the full um, rundown of all the games, you can uh, just go back in on YouTube, on the history, um, and look for Lynx Jam 2023. Played it, uh, I don't know how long ago, not too long ago. Um, but just search for that and you'll be able to say, see us play through all of the games. Now I'm not sure if there's been any updates to any of the games since we played that. I, I'm looking at this and I don't know if I just didn't notice it, but those fountains at the top that are flowing water and possibly lava out of their mouths, I don't remember them being animated before, but they could have been because usually I'm concentrating on the gameplay. And I don't get to see all the awesome. Now where's the audio going? Oh, it's frozen again. What is happening? That's super weird. Why, did it, why is it freezing? This is Dun Dungeddon. Oh, it's slowing down and speeding up. That is not good at all. Why is it doing that? Yeah, I can totally see it. It's like really inconsistent. And the cat... And we're back. Hopefully everybody will join up. That was in Twitch. Oh boy. Well, I can completely blame it on the Atari Homebrew Awards because definitely a cable was different that I did not use before in this setup. It was a USB-C cable um, and obviously it was very broken because I swapped it out and now everything's perfect. Um, so we're back and uh, that cable was bad, the USB cable. Um, it uh, was definitely not the one I originally used in this setup. Hopefully everybody's joining back up on the stream. Uh, let me just type it back. There we go. Because it was giving, um, pausing and doing crazy things with the, comp with the video game video. And now you can see it's working very, very smoothly. Now let's do that one more time. There we go. How embarrassing. Oh, things happen. Especially when you completely change your setup and don't 100% test everything and just kind of assume that everything's working. Um, right, cats? I mean, I could squarely blame the cats and, you know, they are the cause of 90% of the problems in the house. But, um... Uh, if you are, we can't see you. Let's see. Streaming? Streaming. Streaming? Yeah, we're streaming. Can anybody see me? It says I'm streaming. It says I'm at full bandwidth. Uh, if anybody's watching that has, has hooked up again to the stream, please just say, I can see you. It says I'm streaming. Oh, I just got hit with an axe. I had to refresh the window. Okay, excellent. Yeah, I can see people are stream seeing me now. Let's just load up one more game just because that was completely embarrassing. And yeah, you can't see the intro because it goes K retro um, logo comes up because every time I reset the links, I have to set it to external video output, which is three presses of the backlight button. And by the time I press the three presses of backlight button it's taken like three seconds um so let's see 
Let's play da, 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 Grogger. There we go. So far, so good. Level one complete. Yeah, it looks like it's smooth now. Thank goodness. Let me know if there's any timing issues, like with any of the video. Get out of here, pumpkin head. Oh, just in time for Slugworth to get on the screen. There we go. Okay, I think we're good. This is a great version of Tapper. Look at that! I finished it and there was still somebody on the screen. Just got the timing exactly right. Oh, there's something for the uh, dev to fix. <laughs> if they haven't already. Because they, obviously they had to submit this to K-Retro, um, to Igor, a little while back to be able to make it onto the compilation. So they could have done an update by then. I know there was some timing issues where they could poke their head out of the door, but that was fixed for this compilation. So that might be a side effect of the timing between when they come through that door because it was like, oh, you're finished the level, but there's somebody on the screen. Oh, I threw one too many. Okay, looks good. Excellent. So um, we had played all these before, so we don't need to go through all of them again, even though there are tons of fun. Let me just swap that out. Put that there. Actually, I'll put it in a stand because that's what it's for. There we go. Um, so uh, let's just go back to this. And um, K Retro also, they posted this today, just before we went on the air. Um, they are now selling replacement screen lens for the Atari Lynx 2, which is the one I have. Um, these, a, a replacement screen lens for your Atari Lynx Model 2, $24.99 USD, which is pretty good for what this is. This is a replacement reproduction -pre screen lens for the Atari Lynx Model 2. It is injection molded and painted based on the original screen lens design and colors. There's no Atari logo or text like the original. Apart from that, it's a near perfect match, which I kind of like when there are replacement parts made that you can distinguish between the original and a replacement, because if you're buying a console or a game or anything like it's been relabeled or something um, you want to be able to distinguish between something that's original and something that's been replaced um, because that can change your perception of what it is and possibly the price as well um, note you will need to disassemble your links to replace the lens yeah it doesn't just pop on we also sell a screen protector for the lens you can grab that here uh, package content blah 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 um, so yeah, this is on uh, K Retro's website. So if you have a um, links to where the front is all destroyed, sometimes replacing something that's really, really, really bad can actually increase the price of the thing. Uh, if you put a replacement part on it, it depends how bad it is. Like if it's completely scratched, broken, half of it's gone, it's depends it really depends i think but anyway this um k retro is an awesome place for everything links um you can get replacement stickers grips a screen visor just uh, speakers you can pretty much almost make a whole new links out of the stuff they sell and um also they sell the El Cheapo SD cart that we're going to be using today to play the game that we're going to try and get a high score on. So let's do that. Actually, let's take a look at the uh, 
competition first. So this is run out of the Atari Age forums right here. The Atari Lynx High Score Club. So this is round one. So we're getting in on the ground floor here. Uh, this round will be playing Blue Lightning for the first time in years. It's not Afterburner clone. People think it is. It's more like G-Lock, but it has its own thing going on. We're also playing the Mind Bending Homebrew Growing Ties, which is the one we're going to play. Because that's what we do here is homebrew. We've been playing the Game Jam version for a level playing field, but you should get the full game from Atari Age. I do have the full one up there. Uh, round over on Friday, March 1st, 12 a.m. International Dateline West. So that is coming up soon, but it's not, the competition's not, round one's not over yet, so we have a couple more hours to put it in. Um, so we're not going to be playing the Blue Lightning, because we normally only play Homebrew here. Growing Ties, we're going to be playing the original, question mark, version of Growing Ties, the first Lynx game by the great Dr. Ludos, which got, just got a snazzy physical release in an enhanced version from Atari Age. Um, download link. So we've already downloaded it. Put it on the multi-cart. Um, settings. Start from a clean save file with no previous scores and play through as far as you can get without continuing. If you can't figure out how to clear your save file, play uh, online here. Yeah, the links is so, such an, a unique system. It's low res but high power f in relation to the resolution. I, I just love it. And I just got mine not too long ago. And um, I'm really happy to be able to play this on the show now. Um, yeah, just like the 7800, low resolution, high power. Description, cut the right length and color of ties. Don't, don't disappoint your customers. Remember, it's not a race, even if you feel like you should hurry. So f I think five people have submitted their scores. Let me just check. Five people have submitted their scores, and they range from 1,067 to 1,774. So 1,774 is the score that I am aiming for today. And let's switch over to Growing Ties. I get shocked. There we go. And let's load it up. Oh, okay. So today's date. Growing ties. And this version is, as you can see on here, from 2019, September 5th. So it's uh, an older uh, version because the cartridge one has a bunch of bonus games on it, actually. So let's see if we do have any scores in here, because we will have to see. I do have a score in here, 75. Um, how do we clear the scores? Let me just check that out because I will need to clear the scores every round. So that is important to this thing, to this competition. So let's take a look at, here it is, blah, 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 more information. Oh, actually I printed out the information. Oops. Atari Lynx Day. Forgot to put this over here. So there's a TXT that comes along with it. Um, t -t -t -t. The game supports high score. Okay. High score. Um, high score will be cleared. Oh, if the save file is not present. Playing on flashable. Oh boy. Okay. How do we clear it? Are we gonna have to manually add this up every time? We might. Because yeah, I probably have to delete this. The dot save file every time. Damn. I think we're going to have to manually add that up. Okay, it's going to be interesting. Um, I might have to have a calculator on standby. 
or if somebody would like to help me out while I play and add up the scores as I go. Um, because I don't see in the instructions. That doesn't do anything. Hmm, start at level one. Does this only play one level? So, perf level one, perfect size ties. Match the height of the patron's shirt. Grow a tie, cut the tie. Target score 50. Okay. That's cut the tie, that's grow the tie. That's too long. 10! Good start. Very good start. Oh. Oh, thank you, Crypto Coffee, for the bits. Oh, 10. Oh, my God. Now, this is an easy level because things don't go very fast. There's no time limit. Ooh, nine. Not bad. Not bad at all. When it gets longer, that's when it gets challenging because you have to... It's a little bit harder to estimate. See? Seven. Not great. Not great. Oh, I think in later levels, oh, that's not good. They take off. They do run away. And nine, happy with that. This one's a longer, long one. Oh, that's too long. Six, nine, I like it. Too long, nine, I'll take it. Nine, yes. So, 85 for the first one. Um, so if somebody could, in the chat, like type like 85 and then do a plus and plus, 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 or something like that, I don't know. Something that, combo time, makes several good ties, eight, nine, 10 in a row to get more and more bonus points. Whew, okay. That's, ooh, that's good. That's probably good. Ooh, nice, combo one. That's pretty good. Luckily it's all recorded, so nobody wants to type numbers in the chat. Oh, no, damn it, no! I didn't mean I was trying to get rid of the tie. Oh, they're building up. Customers are gonna leave. They're gonna be unhappy. Oh, I better get on this. That one's a good one. That one's combo plus three. Yeah, very unique gameplay on this. Oh, complete. Oh my god. Better get that long one. Oh, that's too long. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, it's too long. Actually, I better get these short ones. Get that one. That one, that one, that's too long. Oh, it was a little too. Gotta get the short one. Yeah, I love unique games like this where it's like, how did they ever think up this concept of cutting ties for customers? Oh, that's too long. Oh, six. 198. Ugh. 198. So I've already forgotten the first score. 85 plus 198. Oh my God. We'll have to see it at the end. Okay, play the next level. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, some patrons want a specific tie color or no tie at all. Left or right to change the tie color. Okay. Plus length. They don't just want a tie. They want a tie of a certain length of a certain color. So these guys are generic. Oh, that's too long, I think. Oh, is unhappy. That's a little too long. Okay. So this guy doesn't care about the color. This person wants an orange tie. And this person wants doesn't care. And this is orange six. Terrible. Funny concept, but it looks fun. Yeah, it's it's very original. 
Oh, six. Oh, I'm not doing super great. There we go. That helps. That's not long enough. That's too long. That's too long. Because you have to discount their collar, too. The collar doesn't count. It's from the black part of their shirt. So let's get an orange one in here. Ooh, I'm getting backed up on customers. Ooh, that's too long. Should have given it to the other guy. Damn it. Oh, just missed. Seven. This game is all about... Perception. Oh, oh, he was very unhappy. Very unhappy. Cutting ties with the Lynx, inspired by Atari and Atari in 1996. Yes. Oh, I just made the cutoff. Don't think I'm doing so well. Don't think I'm doing so well. Big Guys Club. Hey, all the tall guys from the city are coming. Are you up for the challenge? Now, so far, I've not done well on the tall guys, so this is definitely the harder one. Hi. Um, so, target score 200. Well, that's because it's all going to be... So at least I know that I can do it for a long... Oh, five. Six. I'm more overestimating than underestimating, I feel. Oh, boy. I think this is going to be a fail. Ooh, better make up some points here real quick. Oh, seven. Seven. Hey, 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 leave Bernie alone. Seven. Very consistent with the sevens. Six. Oh, no. Making them too long. Hey, hey, ten. Kitten. Oh boy, five. That's too long. That was too long anyway. Ah, oh no. Too long. Oh, eight. Okay, okay, okay. Did he get it? Yeah, he did. Oh, there's still combos. Nine. Okay. Ah, oh, six. Wrecked my combo. Oh, man. 165. No! This is not good at all. I have to make 200. I'm going to bail on this one. Oh, I have to get this one perfect. Failed by three points. No. Okay. Interesting time. I just got a mail from email from Analog saying my Lynx adapter for the Analog Pocket is shipped. Oh, awesome. That is great. Okay. So that was my run. And it says you you have to start over again if you fail. You can't retry a level in this so we have to go back to the menu so there's my scores that was a terrible first run and I didn't complete level 9 or level 4 so that doesn't even count so I got 85 plus 198 plus 163 446 very poor Those are high scores. How do we get back to the main menu? I don't think we can. Okay. So those keep the high scores. Hmm. Okay. We're just going to have to keep track of it. I'll do better this time. Maybe. <laughs> Tiny bit more. Tiny bit more. Nine. Okay.
nine. Better, better, better. Obviously we want all the combos after level two, because level two is where the combos come in. Ooh, a little bit long. Ooh, still a nine. Still a nine. Ooh, is that too short? There. Is that a 10? Yes. Nine, eight. Oh, okay, this one is up for pre-order. Nice. Yes. Yeah, this uh, game is sold at Atari Age. The full version of it. This is an early version um, that's available for free download. But there's... Okay, I'm doing a little bit better. There's a full version on cartridge that has a, some bonus games as well on them. And the bonus games are pretty damn good, actually. Five! Ah, oh, the tall guys are so hard. 85. That's exactly what I got the first round. Okay. I'm going to keep a rolling tally. Okay. Clear. 85. No, 85. Okay. Next level. Now it's combo time. Let's get some points. This is all about perception. It's very hard. Oh, is that too long? Oh, technically it is. Nice. Nice. Ooh, I think that's good. I think I'm going to go short rather than long on everybody. Because I've been generally going a bit long. See? Okay. It's good. It's working. too long. Oof. Let's get this guy. Get some good combos in here. Good combos. This is a perfect throwback. Ah, oh, ruined it. Perfect throwback to like 80s games where the premises of the games are just so absolutely absurd. Oh, six, really? The difference between like a 10 and a 6 for the long, for the tall guys. Oh. 245. Way better. Way better than last time. I got 200 last time. Okay. This is the one with the changing the colors. There's still combos. too long oh still combo eight still counts oh it's these tall guys are gonna ruin it oh, five see how hard it is it's too long <gasps> is that too long it's too long nope that's too long still counts okay <gasps> seven combo ruined oh not a not at all Oh, it's too long. Still in the combo range. Let's go for orange. <gasps> it's too long. Damn it. Oh, way too long. Oh, my God. Said I was gonna go short, but I'm not doing it. I gotta remember. Go a little short. Okay. Yep, yeah, that's a little short. What score do I need for this level? I think it's 150. Didn't do very well. I think I got more combos last time. 166. 
Yeah, see? 166. I'm 496 now. I'm already beating my old score. Awesome. Okay. I didn't beat this one last time. This is all the tall ones. This is the hard stuff. Oh my god. Underestimate. Underestimate. Come on. Underestimate. Underestimate. Not a combo. Um, oh yeah, I was going to talk about the Atari Homebrew Awards. Oh, what? Oh, orange. Well, that's good it didn't like completely delete them. And everything that goes into doing the Atari Homebrew Awards. So I think that's might be an interesting topic. And it's great for After Dark. Oh, ruined. Because, you know, we just play long versions of games and long ties. Um, so, Atari Homebrew Awards started, oh my god, terrible, six years ago, because we just had our sixth. That's too long. Way too long! Because we just did our sixth. How are these people getting these scores that are posted? <laughs> They're doing so well. Um, started six years ago. Now the big thing you have to that I have to do all year is keep track of all the games that come out. Oh, combo ruined. So every day, or every second day, or if I'm on holidays, when I get back, I keep lists on Atari Age. Did I pass it? Oh, I did. Um, of, of games that come out. Ugh. Well, I passed it. Better than last time. 220. Um, so I write down the game for 2600 I'd write down how big it is because there's categories for that um, I write down who makes the game and who like all the people involved in the game you know programmer artist a graphic artist musician if it's if it's been released on cartridge I write down who uh, published it who did the cover art things like that more colors you can now choose from three colors okay not much different um, let's just get more colors. Okay. Underest. Oh, what? What? Why did it fall? What is going on? I didn't press a button. Ooh, 10. Nice. Okay. Maybe I did. Oh, come on. That's too long. Still good. Um, I also give a link to where people can download the game if they can. Sometimes there's just a video, and I keep track of videos, too. It has to have at least a video. Um, if it's just photos, it's not quite enough for, I, I think, because you need a kind of... Why is it falling? I didn't press the button. That's so weird. Is something going on? Um, oh, lost my bonus. So I keep track of all that. And if the game is finished, I also say when it was declared finished. No, I didn't even press it. What is happening? Well, that's too long. Oh, it's still okay. Maybe I'm accidentally double pressing. That's... Oh, I'll just go for a longer one. Nice. I think I'm double pressing. 
a little bit longer, I think. Oh, nice. Nice. Some good combos. 289. Okay. 1,005. Getting there. Getting there. Getting there. So I keep track of these for um, 2,600, 7,800, 5,200, 8-bit Lynx Jaguar. Um, and I keep these lists throughout the year because they're useful just in general for, you know, what's coming out that, that, that year. Every tie counts. How many patrons can you satisfy with only with 20 ties only? That means I should go for longer ties, which makes it harder. No, it doesn't. No, I don't have to go longer ties. Because <clears throat> you get points for well-fitting ties. Not longer ties. <clears throat> so you just don't want to waste any ties. So I don't want to make any long ties. Go too long. It's about right for that guy, I think. Oh, nailing it. I'm getting better. Is that too long? Well, I'm going to go for orange then. Oh, good. That was too long. Combos are happening. No, ruined. <gasps> That's too long. Let's go for a long guy. How about you? Yep. How about you? You. Nice. It's <gasps> too long. Nope, too long. How about for you? It's <gasps> too long. Nope. Eight. Good combos. I'm out of ties. <gasps> 261. Two, 61. 1266. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Most people, their scores, they didn't complete the last level that I've that I was seeing on the scoreboards. Um so I'm up to 1266. And the lowest score. Oh, currently in fifth place. So I'm on the boards. I'm on the boards. On the boards. Fast service. Oh no. The time machine is moving faster. Oh, back and forth faster. Can you combine speed with high quality? I don't think back and forth is going to make a difference. Too much. Because you press it right above and it should be fine. Yeah, it's not really making that much of a difference, luckily. It doesn't really decrease my accuracy. Actually, it's better, because I don't have to wait as long for it to come back around. Okay, you forced my hand. I'm going to have to do the long guys. There goes my combos. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, eight is still in there. Ah, oh, there goes the combos. Mm, you get that tie. Oh, no. You get that tie. Quite safe. Do some short guys. Combos. Let's do this guy. It's good they're not impatient. I think on higher levels they get impatient. That's where I'm going to have 
for some challenges. Oh, wow. That's good. When they start getting upset. Oh, my combo. Sorry. I have to continue on with my story. 323. Nice. 1589. Up to fourth place now. Nice, nice, nice. Rush hour. Okay. One minute before closing, how many last minute clients can you serve? So there's a time limit on this one. So I just need to be quick, quick, quick. It may not be about points, but it is also about points because there's still a target of 220. Whew, here we go. I may not have uh, time to talk. So let's just do this. Oh. <gasps> not good. Oh, was good. Uh, you. Um, oh, people are leaving. Oh, my God. long. Purple. Three seventy five. Nice. Oh, no. Ah, my calculator messed up. What was my last score? It was like fifteen something. Okay, let's just go fifteen hundred plus three seventy five. What? I'm in first place. Oh my god. And that's that's on the low side. 1875 and the top score is 1774. Oh my god. Okay, first place. First place. I'm not even at the end of the game yet. Or is nine the end of the game? This next level might be the, the level that nobody else completed. That might be it. Um okay. I'll continue my um, story after I finish the game, I think. Okay. Uh, okay, next level. See what... Final challenge. This is the one that nobody completed. You cannot make a tie below an 8. That's why nobody completes it. In this endless level... Oh! Oh! If it's endless... That means the score when I mess up below an eight is the end score. Okay. Because it's endless, there is no end to it. You don't get a final score. The final score is when you mess up. Okay. But the target score is 200? I guess you do complete it then. Okay, now I just have to be accurate in this one. Really accurate. I think that is going to be good for that guy. Oh boy, two tall guys. Oh, just. But everything's a combo, so it should add up pretty quick. Oh, I think that's going to be good. Ooh. Ooh, that's too long. That's too long. That's too long. That's too long. One more. Oof. Is that too long? Oh, it's over. Oh, 77. But I got 77. That is the, that is the score. 
or is a level nine failed and I don't get that score? No, I got the score. It says right there, 77. I'll take that score. 1952. I may have been able to get over 2000. With my scores, I'll have to add them up again on my review. I'll have to post, post all of them. Um, I will do one more playthrough because I think I've gotten better. I think I've gotten better. And I, then I have more time to tell the story. Okay. Oh, no, no, that's not what I want. I have to reset. I have to reset. Oh my god. How do I get out of here? Oh, look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> reset. Reset. Nope. I guess we just reset the, reset the game that way. I guess I could fail, but... Okay, let's start it again. Clear. Everybody's so quiet in the chat. They're enthralled with my gameplay. I love the, I love the title screen. The guy on the left is super unhappy with his tie. The guy in the middle is like, mmm, not great. And the guy on the right is happy. Start game. Okay, level one. It's just pure points. Good start. Keep it down in there. That's right. Hush. Um, okay, where was I? Okay, so now uh, I have the lists. The complete lists of every game made within the year. So the year is over at this point. And nine. Come on. And then at this point, I have, at least this year, about one game a day. It was 350 something games total. Oh, seven. It's not going to get me far in the last level. Oh, that's too long. Um, so this is a big undertaking to go through all these games. So I have, I have a bunch of people who help me out, which is the nomination committee. I need to get it down to a manageable amount of games that people can vote on in each category. And I've arbitrarily set that to six. So let's start adding this up again. 89. Six games per category. So we have to get it down to six games. Um, but there are also um, rules per category. Some games are not eligible. Like, oh god, that was a complete mistake. Damn it. Like for work in progress, there's a rule that if they've been nominated, um, you can't be nominated again because, you know, you had, you gave it a good go. Um, your game was good enough to be nominated. So, uh, make some room for the next person. I don't think anybody's left except for the level where they're in you're in a hurry. Well, that's too no, I got it. Um and there's some various various rules for each category. And you can go see those online. But anyway, you exclude those. And then the nomination committee. Um, does their vote and we add up the scores essentially add up the scores there's there's rules for ties not these kind of ties but when uh, games get the same score so that we can just get to the top six and sometimes there's five sometimes there's six games or seven games based on various issues that happen or last minute adjustments oh good combo oh i think i destroyed my last score. That was a good combo. 
Um, so that that's another huge undertaking. Tons of categories. We had 22, 21 voting. No, 22 voting categories for the nomination committee because they have one extra. Um, they also have a um, Lifetime Achievement Award that they need to vote on as well. That's the only non-public voting because you really need to have people who know the history of the people that are up for nomination for the Lifetime Achievement. And they have to like really understand what this person has contributed. Seven. Come on. Because it's it that's that's not like playing a game and you can you can evaluate it fairly well. This is like like knowing the person, being around for a long time. The people on the nomination committee um, are long time community members so that's why we kind of keep it oh that's too long for you keep it to just the nomination committee for that one no not yet no kittens i love you but no um Okay, so they narrowed down to six. There's there's a lot more to it, but um, was that too long? Oh, it is my 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 combos. Kittens, calm down. Just lay beside me. Lay beside me. Oh, there we go. Two forty nine. Another very good score. Two forty nine. We're up to six sixty seven on level three. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, it's the tall guys. It's more more tall guys than short guys. But they're not all tall guys. Mostly tall. I think there's a cutoff. It's like, ooh, eight. Okay, okay. Okay, nine. Um. Ah. Oh. Then it goes to, I'm sure I'm skipping over stuff in the explanation. Ooh, I thought that was going to be too long. I mean, there's a lot of ugh, debating behind the scenes of this and that, of course, to make sure everything's on track. These guys aren't super tall, but I guess they're not short, so. Ah, oh, my combos. Oh, this is not good. It's too long. It's too long. My combos. Is that fun hearing me say combos 20,000 times? <laughs> oh, no. This is very bad. Oh, this is very bad. Oh, that's the worst in a long time. Oh, this game started so good. Am I even going to make the cutoff? I did just barely pathetic 215 what a nightmare that is a hard level though because it's so specific and i've lost it Ugh, i've lost my score oh well i'll just keep playing oh what was it uh nobody's helping me in the chat keep track of it okay that's okay i'll add it up after uh more colors yep okay score uh aiming for is 200 a little bit more
Ooh, is that too long? Nope. Ooh, that is too long. Let's go for purple. Mm, I think that's about right. Ooh, that's long. Oh my god. My combos. The long ones are so hard. Because it's not about relative length. Oh. It's about how much you are off by pixels. So if you're one pixel off, it's the same for a short tie as it is a long tie. And one pixel off is much harder to estimate on a long tie than it is a short tie. Ooh, let's give that to you. that to you. Oof. Wasn't sure about that. Oh, let's go a little bit longer. Give that to you. Oh, my combo. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, 305. Still good. Still good. Well, I'm not keeping track because I have no idea. I have to review this one, but It'll either be the last score or this score. I did really well at the beginning. So this is the 20 ties only. So I have to use every tie. So I'm not even going to push a tie out yet. A little bit longer. I think that one's perfect. Well, not perfect, but decent. Oh, one more. A little bit more. Yeah, yeah, it might be a bit long. One long. Nice, yeah. Was one too long? Oh, tall guys. Oh, I think that's about right. This game is all about combos. Ooh, already made it too long. Oh, one more. Nice. Okay. Nice. One more. Nice. Let's do Mr. Orange here. One more. Ooh. Uh, one more. One more. I, do, I like doing the short ones first because I can continue the combo. And that's where you make the big points. So shorter first. Keep the combo going. I'm out of short, guys. Um, Oh, no, no. Well, let's try for a long one. Oh, I already made it too long. I have to go for a relatively tall guy. Nice. So let's go for a short. I've got five ties to go. That should be good. touch long. Nice. Oh, one left. Okay. Nice. Got the combo. 266. If I keep this up, I think I can do better than the last time. I had one really bad round, though. Might bring me down. Oh, okay. Fast service. Okay, this is about speed, 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 speed. But also combos, of course. Oh, no, it's not about speed. Sorry. It's just the things moving back and forth faster. Which is not a problem. As I determined last time. Um... 
Ooh, a little short. No, it's not. Um, ugh. Too long? Oh, just good enough. Nice combos. Oh, such long people now. Is that good? I think it is. Oh, ho, ho. I think that's good. Eight on the border. Oh, nine. I think that's good. Oh, it's ruined. Well, we'll go for a longish guy. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna do combos. Do some combos here. Get some scores at least. I think that's good for the left hand guy. Yep. Ooh, that's too long. Okay. I think that's good for the short tie. Yes. Okay, nothing but long now. Four combo. Five combo. No! Oh, that was devastatingly bad. <laughs> How did I go so bad? That's a little long. Oh, that's really long. Oh, what's happening? It's too long. Oh, I'm overestimating again. That's too long, too. Oh, 283. Good score, but could have been way better. Oh, what am I doing? 283. Okay. This is the rush hour. This is the one where you have a time limit. So you gotta move. Yep, you know, 60 seconds. You gotta do some. Just gotta move. What did I get on that one? Five. It's a nightmare. Oh, it's purple. Oh, it's too. Oh my god. Okay, I'm doing very bad. Too long. Oh, no, still good enough. Okay. Combos are important. Um, what? No. Oh, God. Like it. Damn it. Oh no. One second. 131. Oh, I failed. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Well, I'm going to take, I'm going to take the other score. I think I got close to 2000 or over 2000, which puts me in first place in the scoring. I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, I think we're about done. I definitely did not beat my score because I, I didn't finish level eight. And the last one, I got a score for level nine and passed level eight. I doubt I'll, I'll add it up later after. Actually, I'll add it up right now. Right now, we'll do a replay really quick. So let's switch back, switch back to me. Hey, Alnifer, you missed the whole thing. I just finished trying to get a high score for Growing Ties for the High Score Club. It's the last day for that. And I did get a high score. Got first place so far. I mean, um, somebody could beat me. But I would say at least second at this point. So let's 
do an instant replay of this. And we're back. Let's mute me. We don't need to hear me. And we will do an instant replay where you guys can see it. So, and we'll add this up. I have to go much further past this. Level four, that was my first try. This is my second try. Level two, level six, level seven, level nine. Level nine failed. Okay, now we start adding it up. This is level one. 89. Actually, I can put the calculator on the screen, too. Oh, you can't see it anymore. What? Oh, my God. What happened? Or did you never be able to see it? You know what? I know how to fix this. It's super annoying, but I do know how to fix this. It is the way the video plays. And there we go. Does this work? Nope. Might have to restart it. Oh, I should have checked the time. Oh, no, it's not playing at all. No. One second. Preferences. It's like I have to change the output of the video to like direct X and things like that. And is this show? Yes. There we go. There I am. Hooray. Seven, eight, nine. Okay, we're back. Growing ties. Level one. 89 points. Get the calculator back on the screen. Oh, you guys can't see the calculator. Why can't you see the calculator? Anyway, I'll, I'm adding it up. It's been zero minutes since technical difficulty. Yeah. 89, then an uh, excellent score for level two, 329. Level three, 249. Level four, 215. doubt this is going to beat my other score. Unless, because I did, I did pretty good on a lot of these, but I doubt it's going to make up for it. 305. Two sixty six. There's no chance. Oh, what did I get on this one? 283. failed on this one. 131. 1867. <laughs> I still got first place with that one. <laughs> so my second score, which I didn't even write down my first score. So I'm going to go J2. 1867. And let's add up the first score. Okay, so that's first round. Then I fail, level four. Okay, this is my first full proper run through. So 85. points, which is very poor. Two forty five. One 
166. Let's see if I get over 2,000 or if it's under. And 220. Sixty-one. I know you're seeing double of me. It's very confusing. So I mute the other one. Otherwise, it's really confusing. Three twenty-three. Two more levels to add up. Three seventy-five. Seventy-seven. I do go over two thousand. Nice. So J one. Oh, it's raining really hard outside. Two o four one. Two o four one. There we go. I am very very happy with that score. Two thousand forty-one. The current first. In first place is 1774. Wow. Very, very, very happy with that. Okay. So, um, coming up on the show, we're done for now. Um, let's take a look at what is all planned for the next season of Zero Page Homebrew. Because I kind of it kind of culminates in the Atari Homebrew Awards. Then I take about a week off. Not too long. I'm actually less than a week for doing this because I needed to uh, put in a score for this. Um, so the first show back, we are doing a Jaguar show. Uh, Rocketeer Rebounced, uh, work in progress um, from Cyrano J, who's in the chat. Um, and uh, we're also playing Rebooteroids Ca uh, Caravan Edition and Kobayashi Maru Caravan Edition. I did miss putting in a score for Rebooteroids, but Kobayashi Maru, I think, is still... Um, let me just make sure the contest is still going on by then. March 18th is the cutoff for that. So well, we're well within it. Yep, still going. Excellent. Thank you, Cyrano. So I'll be able to put in a score for that. Um, it's very much like Time Pilot, and I love Time Pilot. Um, so I should have a good time with that. Uh, the next show after that... Uh, sorry, that, that show is on this coming Tuesday. Then the next show after that on the 8th is on the Friday... I'm not mistaken. And I put on Tuesday so uh, Cyrano can be here. Because they're all his games. And you know how long each game will take. Are they long? Are they really, really long? <laughs> That's okay. It's fun. Um, is 2600 day? Might change it to 7800 day? No, I'll probably just keep it 2600. Uh, Stellar, Mar Stellar Drive Mars. And we'll be playing a bunch of other 2600 games. And then the next Tuesday is Drone Patrol. Uh, at least, and I know there's some other 7800 games that have been updated quite a bit. And uh, then we're back to the regular schedule. We do have a developer spotlight on uh, Steve Engelhart, Atarius Maximus. He's been making games forever. So we're going to be going through his full catalog. That's coming up in March. Uh, I'll have to nail down a date with him. Um, probably mid to late March, but I'll have to see what's going on. Um, and then we also have next month, Basic 10-Liner Contest 2024 entries. Um, that's when it wraps up. Might do some beforehand. Uh, we In May, this has just been added, Secret Homebrew from Champ Games. So we'll be doing a world premiere of the new Champ Games Homebrew. I don't usually know what it is. Um, so that's going to be a lot of fun. I boot it up and you guys find out at the exact same time that I do. Oh, caravans are three minute timers. Oh, we can fit in a lot of games then. That's excellent. Um, 
And we also have uh, John Champo introducing his new game at the same time. So that'd be in May, May-ish. We penciled it in for May. Obviously, if it if it takes a little bit longer for him to get it together, we can uh, finish up the game to the point he wants to show it. We can always push it forward. Um, also, definitely in May, we're doing this Atari 7800 40th Anniversary Classic Gaming Countdown. It is the 40th anniversary of the Atari 7800. So we're going to be playing through all the classic games. I'm really looking forward to that. There's so many that I haven't played. Um, so we'll get a good overview like we've done with the Jaguar and 2600 slowly. We're getting through all the games. It'll be fun when we do the Lynx one. It's impossible to do the Artari 8-bit one. Um, I don't know when the 5200 ones comes up. I can't remember what year that came out. Do I have that scheduled? Oh, I do. That's in 2027. So that's in three years. Uh, we'll do the 45th anniversary Classic Gaming Countdown for the Atari 5200. Um, we also, oh, I still have to get on that. We have another four player special coming up with an exclusive world premiere of a four player game um, called Just Up. That'll be fun. Um, oh, and sooner than later, I want to do a tabletop game special. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven tabletop games. Um, Gauntlet 2. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we could maybe put in the Jaguar four player games on that four player special a day. So I don't think we've done. Have we done any Jaguar four-player days yet? I don't think we have. So we could do that. That'll be good. Yeah, Gauntlet 2 would be awesome. Oh, I love Gauntlet. I have a team tap. I already have a team tap. Just for just for such an occasion. And I have four controllers for the Jaguar as well, I believe. Because that's what I wanted to do. So I may try four. I think I have three or two two three button controllers at least one six button controller pro controller not an original maybe two of them and i have my um arcade stick as well expressway okay i'll have to um get in touch with you with for all the four player games so i can add them in because uh, i don't no, if I, I, no, I have a list of, I'm pretty sure I have a list of, let me just check, because, um, let me go to my, oh, it's pouring down again, go to my, um, list of four-player games, because I've kind of been maintaining a list. Let's see, four-player, four-player, four, Atari four-player, there we go. So here it is, we've done... We've done the 2600 games. We haven't done 5200 games. We've done the 7800. We've done all the 8-bit games. Here's the Jaguar. Okay, Gauntlet 2. We've got Rampage, which is three players. Um, we've got Black Hole on the list. Project W. Um, so Expressway, I'll have to add to that list. Let me add that. Yeah, but I need four Atari Lynx to do four player games. I don't think that's gonna happen, unfortunately. I don't know how I'd ever be able to pull that off. Um, Expressway. Thank you, Cyrano. Any others that you can think of right now while I have it up on the screen? Uh, let me go back to the games that are gonna be played soon. There we go. Um, any other crazy ones? Oh, Fujinet Online Gaming. So there's at least four games that we can play online, and we'll announce it beforehand, obviously, so that we can get the community playing those four-player games at the same time. So we have 8-Bit Slicks, 5-Card Stud, Reversi, and Warships. Um, I'm sure there's more, but I'll do some more research into that. Um, what else? Oh, a bunch of After Darks that I want to do. Attack of the Petsky Robots, we started. Robot Zed, I really want to do. That might be next. I need to finish Alien Abduction and Hero. 
Uh, Hero for the patch. Alien abduction. We got to the last level and it didn't get it finished. So close. Uh, continue on with load runner. We're slowly getting through them. Super sprint will be three players, but I haven't finished it yet. Well, maybe I can uh, put that on. Super sprint. Three players. Um, coming soon. <laughs> there you go. That'll help me remind myself that it isn't done yet. Consent of work in progress. Hey, that's a perfect day we can premiere it. How about that? We can combo do a multiplayer game and premiere it at the same time. Um, oh, and Dan AVC, I'll be, be announcing the AVC games tomorrow, but the games start on March 11th. So he bases his... Um, AVC games off of the winning games from the Atari Homebrew Awards. So check that out when it comes up. Um, obviously more information uh, coming up on that. Um, and not scheduled, developer spotlight on Chris Walton. I would love to coincide that with um, a Xevious update probably, or a Boom update. Obviously Dan Kitchen's Casey's Gold is coming up at some point. We have the exclusive world premiere of that. And of course, his second game, which would be coming after his first game. Um, those are from Audacity Games. Um, so tons coming up in 2024. Lots and lots of fun things. Um, another thing that has been happening, if you go to Zero Page Club, and you go down to Atari 2600 game code lo code name one liner, you can follow along with my development of my first ever Atari game. It's for the 2600. It's code name one liner. Hi. Um, and it says for my first. At I'll talk about this uh, on on the regular show as well. For my first Atari 2600 game, I've run across a simple but very fun game to port that I think would suit the console. I'll be using this thread to document my progress and will reveal the game on ZPH when it's ready. I'll definitely be reaching out to the community when I run into any issues I need help with. Um, let me um, post that in there. Uh, it'll be written in assembly and coding will begin after the sixth Atari Homebrew Awards, which it's after that now. Um, so some challenges with it. It does have an asynchronous play field. Uh, it does have a very minor amount of flicker code which is really not an issue. Um, there's lots of to do, which is pretty much everything, but I have made some progress on it. I've done the pseudocode. I did that before the Atari Homebrew Awards. Um, and the other day, uh, two days ago, I finished the basic kernel. I finished the player and enemy graphics, and I did player movement, the basics of player movement. Um, so I've got the enemy on the screen. I've got the player character on the screen. I can move the player. So the next up, these are kind of in order. Yeah, he does want treats. Anybody want to uh, give him some treats? You can either send out the uh, danger fun ball or you can give them some catnip. Probably the, the, the little ball would be better. Look at him. Oh, he's listening to me very intently. Very intently. Oh, you're so adorable. You guys see his see his face? You want the ball? Do you want the treat Warning. ball? Warning. Warning. The treat ball is loose. The treat ball is loose. Oh, who did that? Where is the treat ball? Oh, kittens, where's the treat ball? Oh no. Okay, in lieu of the treat ball, I have no idea where it is. We're going to just scatter some some treats on the ground. Thank you so much, Dan AVC. Are you ready? Let's switch over to the cat cam. Yeah, you are ready? Okay. Let's move this out of the way. There's no bell. There's no bell. You just get treats. There you go. Good kitties. It's been a while since you've had treats. Probably about two weeks. Thank you, Dan. So I have a lot more to do on my game. I'm looking forward to it. It really, yeah, he's like, I want to get the bell. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for the bell. <laughs> um, 
So there's uh, obviously a lot more to do on the game, but it's not that big of a game. Treats for everyone. You get a treat. You get a treat. Yeah. So I have to still have to do the enemy movement, the play field, better enemy and graphics and color. Um, hoping I can do line by line color, and I should be able to. It's not super complex. I need to animate the player and enemy. Uh, so that will take up a bit of time in the kernel. Uh, flicker code, that's not super hard. Because I just need to keep track of two things and go, am I drawing or more? No hints. Uh, and uh, keep track of each, which, which one I have to draw that frame. Not, not too bad. Then collisions, then the play field modification, because the play field does change. Do a game start, game over. Um, do scoring. Um, do sound. Do a title screen and an attract screen as well. I'm, so I'm hoping to get that. I'm hoping to do it in a 4K, and I think I can do it in a 4K game. Um, so it shouldn't be too complex. Did you get uh, get enough treats? Did you get enough treats? Yeah. You're not getting any more. No, you got enough. Um, so that's it for today. Uh, thank you for cheering me on and being here for me trying to get the top score. And I did, so it all worked. Thank you so much. And um, so we'll be back on Tuesday with Tanya. And what program are you using for your game? Oh, yeah, I'm using um, Assembly uh, for my game because I have programmed in Assembly before, a long time ago. But um, so I'm, I'm probably more comfortable with Assembly than Batari Basic because I literally, I, I know how to program in Basic um, and, a, and a couple other languages as well, but I... I know that you can get the most out of assembly uh, with the 2600 or any any uh, system because you're really you're trying to do the most efficient code you can. Doesn't mean you're it, you can do it the fastest programming with assembly because you're literally telling it everything you need to do. But um, I want to try assembly first, and I I'm very confident that I can do it um, do it in assembly code. Um, and I'm, I'm getting through it bit by bit. Um, but I'm hoping to do it pretty quick because I'm kind of scared that somebody else is going to make this game for the 2600 uh, before I do. Uh, so I'm hoping to get this out very soon. At least get it to a point where I can play it. May have to skip some of these steps or to get it on the show and then I can um, finish it up a little bit later. So I don't, I definitely don't need like say, I don't need a title screen. I don't need an attract screen. Um, I don't need anything elaborate for game start, game over. Um, scoring I would need, um, I could skip the flicker code. If I want to get it out quick, and I might do that, I, I probably will do that. <laughs> um, I need the collisions, obviously, or else you can't play the game. Uh, I need the play field modifications. I don't necessarily need enemy better enemy graphics and color. No FMTV tutorial. Not uh, me teaching anyone? No, I'm not teaching anyone how to program. Leave that to the experts. I am starting from just above zero, so I definitely don't want to don't want to teach anybody. Uh, bring on the night, hey Beef Supreme. Um, so I can skip a couple things in there. I should um, I should actually write those down. Scoring or sound? I could, I could actually skip the sound too. Actually, sounds pretty easy. Um, optional or um, I'll put a star beside them flicker code I'll put a star beside that I kind of want to animate the player in the enemy it would look very strange if I didn't do that title screen optional track screen optional oh you guys can't see anything um, yeah title screen optional a track screen optional Scoring, I need scoring, because that's fun. 
play field modification I need, collisions I need. I don't need flicker code right away. Um, I, do, I do need to animate the player. I need the play field. I need the enemy movement. So there are some things I, I can, one, two, three, four, five, I can skip. So that's, that is fine with me. Good. Can chat GPT be leveraged to code part of it? For me, no. I think for advanced programmers, they could use chat GPT. Um, I've seen people use uh, chat GPT for um, 6502 code, but usually it ends up there's something really weird in the code that's not quite right, or it's using codes that don't exist or don't quite work, especially for um, uh, 6507 coding for the 2600. It's probably going to use um, uh, commands that don't exist for the 2600 because it's a, a pared down um, 6502 chip for that. Um, so I, I, I would rather go look at code from the forums and other people's examples of code because my game is very simple. Once you see it, you'll be like, yeah, that's, that's about as simple of a game as you can make. Um, last part of the Turing test, write a 2600 game that doesn't desync. Yeah, good luck. That would definitely be a Turing test pass if they could make a non-desyncing 2600 game. Because that, I mean, <sighs> chat GPT would have, or whatever large language model would have to understand counting lines um and i don't think it would it understands that right now but maybe if you could explain it to it because it would have to know how how many uh machine language cycles and clock cycles each command use so it doesn't go past the line and etc cetera, etc cetera. anyway um so that's it uh for today thanks for hanging out with us us me and the cats um uh beef supreme gamma dev dan if you see uh cyrano alan the fur double down um wait until somebody beats your score by one point it always happens that's why i would play on the very last day if i can but they only have about six hours to do it and my score it's not impossible i did mess up a little bit but so it's beatable but I don't think two people will beat me, so I'm pretty confident I'll keep at least second place. I, somebody usually beats me, though. They go, oh, a challenge, and they just destroy me. Especially the first place person. Sometimes the first place person is always like, that's good enough. I'm first place, like I did today. Like, if I didn't get first place, I would keep playing. And I expect somebody else to do that as well. Uh, Crunchy the Clown. Um, da -da -da, old Style Gaming. Uh, David Calgary, 29. Um, and everybody else who was lurking. Tanya sneaks in after dinner to beat it by one point. She could. She could. Never know. Um, so, like I said, we're back on Tuesday with some awesome Jaguar games from Reboot slash Cyrano. And uh, back with Tanya, back with the cats, and back to regularly scheduled programming. So um, we will see you then. And everybody have a long, great, uh, not long weekend. Everybody have a great weekend, unless we do another after dark. Never know. Could happen. Uh, we'll see you then. Bye-bye, everyone.